Just about ready to take lunch, but look! Uh oh. <laughs> Hi. Nothing like having a camera shoved in your face. Get used to it, kid! He's like, Mommy, help me! Here's one reason why I like working in an automotive shop. <laughs> I can use brain power instead of muscle power. So that's how I'm getting the rear diff in the back of the truck. You guys remember the rear diff from the scary car of the day about a week ago. Maybe it's two weeks now. All right, so almost. I was gonna pretend to fall and I actually almost did. Here we go guys, you ready? It's a long ways down, here we go, you ready? Oh yeah, that hurt. I was stupid. It's time to go home. Here's your non-haunty question of the day. It's just something that we were talking about at work uh, for a little while, so I thought it was, it was kind of interesting. The question being, would you rather pass away and have your children live with money so that they're taken care of or would you rather continue to live and be in your children's life even if it means that they'll be poor for the rest of their lives monetarily so post it down in the comments what would you guys do it's just really weird because there, there's so many different ways that you can think about that so anyway off of work, happy, blah, 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 blah. I should make a song about that. Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm not going to do that. I, I won't torture you guys, because that, that, my friends, would be scary. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> Guess what, guys? <gasps> we're going for a walk. We're going for a walk. Oh, my goodness, we're going for a walk. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Somebody didn't respect the pouch. Batteries. Yes, batteries are the reason why I had to go to the store because I want to get that damn Revo going tonight. I think I've already said that. Maybe I'm sounding redundant. Trying to keep the vlog fairly short today because we have a lot of cock to get through, guys. Commenting on comments if you guys are new. COC for short. Well, cock for short. But tonight's is going to be extra long. <laughs> How can you drink like that? It's like, uh, 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 go, go, go. yeah, like that. Let me see. Oh, that's how you can do it. Look, you missed. <laughs> you missed, turkey. Good thing you're getting a bath when you get home. Yes, big tree. Big scary tree. And that's excellent. It looks like they painted over all the graffiti that was in here. And someone came and tagged Jesus Christ again. That was nice of them. Oh, here we go. Phoenix. Ah! I want him to hear the echo, 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 echo. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He got a little echo in. <laughs> Alright, I tell you guys sometimes that the sky looks better through the camera than it does in real life. Eh, not in this case. The sky's much more darker than what the trees are. It looks kind of cool, kind of spooky. So you got like sun, no sun, and spooky clouds. Spooky clouds. I'm taking a bold step and I'm basically telling myself that yes, it is going to start. Yes, I'm going to be able to use it because I have attached the GoPro to the top of it. <laughs> So I hope they have a warranty on the GoPro camera <laughs> because who knows what the hell is going to happen right now. Anyway, here's a, a real, look at this guys. Okay, we have four wheel drive, right? All four wheels have drive shafts. Uh, we have independent front suspension right here. Right here is a little pin switch that I put in for reverse uh, for the lights. This right here, where is it? This right here is another little switch that I put in for the, um, uh, the brake lights. <laughs> You've got your little glow plug wire, and here's your exhaust. There's your little fuel tank right here. That's a fuel tank. So here we go. 
Are you guys ready? Oh, and this is the starter motor. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I do. What do you think, baby? <laughs> She's like, get that damn thing away from me. All right, guys, so successful test. Uh, I need to do a little tweaking and peaking with the air fuel mixture for both idle and cruise uh, because it keeps shutting off on me. But <laughs> all in all, freaking badass, right? Oh my gosh, I don't know what's taking me more time sitting here going through and choosing which COC comments to read or me procrastinating on filming the stuff that I've selected. So I've got the first day. The first day is uh, day 1311, uh, Helping Haunters. Um, so first of all, I would like to say if you guys uh, helped uh, Boneyard Creep, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, and they say the same. It's so awesome to be able to help other people. Also, you guys, as a whole, like the subtitles that I give to Phoenix, uh, kind of like, uh, what do they call that? Closed caption. It's like Phoenix caption. <laughs> Let's get through these COC comments, and and then we'll go from there. Crystal Sherman, what if he... I'm already screwing up. Crystal Sherman, what if Phoenix has actual powers that turns lights on, and you're just thinking that you're the one turning on and off the lights? Hmm. Hollywood Haunter, thanks for spreading the love for Boneyard Creep. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Aptech13, hey guys, I'm Tony A., I've been subbed to you since the beginning, haha, <laughs> I started a new channel so I cannot find you guys. I didn't know why, I didn't think to check your drop panel video. Your baby is so big now, holy crap! Anyway, I'm back. Yeah, missed you guys. Or yay, missed you guys. Um, well, we missed you too, although, um, and yes, Phoenix is very big. He, he was a big baby, and he's still a big baby. I don't think he's going to get any smaller. Trish Redding, another way to help the Boneyard Creep is to buy one of his cool paper mache jack-o'-lanterns on Etsy. I'm too lazy to build one, so I happily bought one. Uh, so, can you give us his Etsy shop address? That would be really cool. Branson Haunted Hills, so great of you to share Boneyard Creep's story. You're a great guy, Troy. Thank you. Um, I don't take compliments that well. That's really weird. I mean, because I, I just feel like I'm doing what, you know, comes natural. Love Phoenix's laugh. Even when he's been hurt, he continues to laugh. Most of the time, that kid is rough and tough. Nice to see the video start before you got into your truck after work. It would be cool if you could attach the camera to a helicopter to get aerial shots of your haunt when it's being built. The rooftop shot, the rooftop shots were super cool, but helicopter shots would rock the haunt world. I want a quadcopter. People are calling them drones, and that's it's unfortunately that's catching on. But they're not freaking drones. They're quadcopters. They're they've got four uh, propellers on them, and they're so cool. I want one so bad, but it needs this, and I don't have that, so I don't need it that bad. So let's move on to cock number two. Tarkus head police all around. You better run, Chris. LOL. It's great to work with people you actually like working with. This is very true. Sometimes it makes the workday go so much faster and it's so much better. Adam Owens. Oh man, I wish I had a Barnes & Noble because I've been looking for a good journal like that. Lori Lee started saying something about uh, human skin and I 
cut the clip as she was saying it because I wasn't expecting a conversation and I could barely hear blah blah blah. So anyway, uh, apparently from what she said is that some of them were caught having human skin, which is so weird because we just got through tonight actually uh, finishing watching American Horror Story uh, Asylum and Bloody Face used skin off of his victims to make things, so I thought that was really funny. Borgex2679, my sister has that zombie game. The first time I played that, I won. It's a fun game. The wind sounded like thunder. I still hope you can get a building before haunt season starts. I hope that we can get a building too. Not looking too promising. Um, I haven't heard back from the pro opportunity, the gentleman that was supposed to call me, so I'll make another follow-up call. If I don't hear back from him after that, then I'm just, I'm not going to press the issue. Cocked times three. This is for day 1313, which I was going to do this whole huge thing about day 1313, because it's never going to happen again, and I didn't, just because life. So, with that said, I wasn't going to read this one first, I was going to read it last, but since I just talked about life, I'll do this one. Riot Starter B. It's okay if you don't do cock every night. We understand. We know you read the comments off cam. Plus, you're spending time with your family. So stop apologizing. It's okay. Thank you, somebody who understands. I really do appreciate that. And I'm actually thinking about possibly... Um, well, actually, uh, Luigi Vash Trigon said, Why don't you do COC uh, one day a week on Sundays? And I'm actually thinking that I might cut it down to one day a week on Tuesdays. Because... Yeah, there's a lot of comments. I love them all. I read them all during the day, and you guys know that. Um, but finding the time to do this is starting to becoming, starting to become overwhelming. Greg Packard, hey Troy, I think Froggy's Fog has flavored bubble juice. Well, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Adam Owens, I think it's funny that everyday work you're getting out of the truck, and I always say to myself, Troy, the keys, I remember for you. Well, thank you. Maybe that's why I remembered the other day. Um, you put a pump. If you put a pump inside the pool and a hose to the top of the slide, you can have a water slide for Phoenix. That is a good idea, I like that. And you've noticed that you edit quicker with the lights on versus the lights off. Eh, I don't think it really matters for me, although when the lights are off, I do tend to nod off a little bit more often. I'll be sitting there editing, I'll be like, and I'll hit a wrong button, I'll be like, oh crap. Elysia Snook, so since you bought it, my question has been, what does the goat song from The Sound of Music have to do with Fish and Bubbles? I don't know, I had no idea where that song came from, so. I can't answer that question because I really don't know. Also, I am currently in Bremerton and just looked to find how close Lakewood is to where I live in Spokane. It's about six plus hours. Looks like I won't make it to your haunt anytime soon, but if I ever get to move near the Puget Sound, you won't be too far from me. Well, that's cool. So if you are ever over here, you're, I mean, we'd love to have you at the haunt. Shane Cottle, hello from Southern Ohio. I've been watching your channel for a while. Love it, bro. Thank you. Wish I lived close enough to visit your haunt, but look forward to seeing the highlights here. Thanks. Oh, and the highlights will be here. Right here. Two more for this day, guys. Uh, Curlis99, when it's not Halloween, you should put the projector in your living room. I would, but projectors go by uh, hours of bulb life, and the bulbs are, like, really freaking expensive, so I don't want to, like, burn it longer than I, I have to, because then, when I go to use it for the haunt, it'll be like, ooh, look at the cool effect effect what what happened to the effect where did the effect go oh i blew the projector so i don't want to do that cap zone 2 having a video projector you can do so many things there are so many dvd effects to use if you had a few of them it would be so very awesome yes it would and if i could get my hands on a couple then i would next cock okay i want to stop going through comments and i'm just going to do this because <laughs> it's later than it was before see there's this awesome thing called editing that 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 consolidates like a lot of time into a short space and it doesn't show the true time that's actually been spent in doing this. Most of it's been procrastination. Warrior Haunt. Was that a Mini Cooper you were taking for a test drive? No, it was actually, I think it was like an 01 Audi uh, TT. Rider 619. Was that Sam from Trick or Treat that I saw on top of your computer desk? Because if it was, OMFG. You mean this guy? Yeah. Yes, it is. Lori Lee got that for me. And it is so cool. So it sits proudly up there with the rest of my, my knickknacks. 
my tchotchkes. Jason Daniel, hope you saw my makeup on Instagram. I got the grease paint and face paint at Party City. They already have some of their Halloween stuff out. I did see it, that was pretty cool. Cap Zone 2, scrapping the Xmas tree stand with four perfectly good eye bolts that could be used in the haunt. Cockless again, it's been so long I forgot what it's like. Well, there's plenty of cock tonight, and money right now is more important than uh, possibly using a something for uh, a project in a haunt. Lisa A, now is the time to buy Michael's Halloween stuff when you can use the 50% off coupon. Um, I want to check to see if um, Joanne Fabrics and uh, Viva Todd Vegas, Viva Todd Vegas, uh, says that they have foam pumpkins in now at Joanne's. I want to see who has the better price. Tarkus head. I missed the sound of those small gas engines. Used to have a Cox off-road Volkswagen. Coolest little thing. Never had one of those electric, st electric starters, though. Would have been nice. Oh my gosh, if I didn't have that electric starter, this would have been... I'd still be out there trying to start it. The Spook House. We went to Michael's the other day, and I found the last quart size of orange paint that was on clearance. Sold! <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Trish Redding. And also, Woken Nightmare made reference to this, too. I visited Garden Ridge today, and they have really cool Halloween stuff out. We don't have any Garden Ridges around here. Sad Panda. And... I want to mention this now before I forget. No, no, I won't forget. I certainly won't forget this. Which is hollow. Congrats on getting your RC car running. Thank you. And a long... I haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, Philip McGee, some of my favorite desserts are pumpkin pie and pumpkin donuts. I almost read that as deserts. <laughs> I've never went to the Sahara pumpkin pie desert before. Sleep deprivation is kicking in. No, I haven't been drinking. This is non-alcoholic. Although, you'd never know it. Adam Owens, it would be awesome if you won the GoPro camera. Well, yeah, that would be awesome. So you can mount it in the shop to record the day's funnies. Oh my gosh, do you know how long that would take me to edit? Wow, the comment of all comments. Because, I will say this, guys. When I say stuff, I don't realize I say stuff. You guys are the ones that point it out to me. Like, I mean, I know I freaking say awesome all the time. And I know that's, like, totally played out. Um, but... Viva Todd Vegas, new Halloween Hellmouth slogan, smell the Halloween. Oh my gosh, that is like so freaking outstanding. <laughs> so, I don't know, that would be kind of cool for a t-shirt, wouldn't it? Smell the Halloween. Because you can, you can smell the Halloween. Halloween has a certain scent to it. Like wood panels and, and candy corn. Oh god. It's just in black plastic. It's so intoxicating, isn't it? All right, guys. So happy haunting. Thank you for joining us today. As always, I have no idea what tomorrow's going to bring, but I'm sure it's going to be something kind of cool. So make sure to give the video a thumbs up. It makes me feel good. Comment down below. That makes me feel good too. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I said happy haunting, right? Okay. That was another terrifying tale from the hell mouth. Tune in tomorrow, boys and ghouls, for another terrifying chapter. Ah! <laughs>